let's look at head on inelastic collision. Well, I'm not going to describe you about what exactly happens. I'm just going to give you a tip to remember this one particular formula. And with this, you can do all the problems of inelastic as well as elastic collision also. Because remember, in elastic collision, the tip here is in elastic collision, put E is equal to 1. That is the only thing that you have to do, right? But nevertheless, if you know this formula, you can always put E equal to 1 in this formula and analyze the cases. So what do you mean by coefficient of restitution? That will be given to you, E. And that's nothing but uh, according to this formula, V1 minus V2 by U1 minus U2. So what's happening here is both of these bodies are there. They collide. And then uh, there is a sort of a depression that's formed. And when they, when they separate from each other, the depression is still existing, right? It's some of the energy is lost in the form of heat. That's the reason why you can't conserve kinetic energy here. You can just conserve momentum and you can say, because uh, there's no external force acting in this direction, so momentum has to remain conserved. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 should be equals to M1 V1 plus M2 V2, right? And this will be one equation. The second will be this E is equal to this. Using these two equations, you can always get these two these two formulas, but you have to remember them. Don't go, don't uh, go in the exam expecting that you know you'll get this, you'll get this, and then you'll separately get this. That's that's uh, not very advisable. If you remember this, it will always be uh, good because you just have to put E is equal to one, and you'll get the conditions for elastic collision, right? So this this formula and this formula uh, are something uh, which you have to remember. You can't miss out on these two but these two formulas as far as uh, head-on inelastic collision is concerned.